Okay. Everything that's included, or everything you need is included. And I'm just going to show you guys how easy it is to work. Um, it's basically plug and play. So I just plug the wire scene. I'm going to turn it on. And you have a little LCD screen over here. As you can see, it's the Proc D3. Um, it's a little touch screen, and you have a little adjustment knob over there. First, you just hold it in for a second. All your settings is going to come up. Um, so this is Cobalt Chrome. You just slide it over. That's gold. More gold. Since we're, uh, we're doing orthodontics, so I'm going to slide it back over to uh, stainless steel. And down here, I'm going to click the little label go button. Oh, cool. So everything is preset. You know, you don't oh. have to think too much about it. Um, then you have the choice. You really want to stay in that blue line down there. That's like the parameters they suggest. If you want to, you can just roll your little adjustment knob. You know, Would this be like if you're doing... O for O wire as opposed to exactly uh, so, O to so what I like to do say um, if I show you some examples this is a a circ, um, like a wrap around to a C class yeah so on this one I would actually just bump it up to thirty percent um, just because it's an O three six wire you know, then I start the weld the welds real easy. Um, so it's just about what, maybe like five millimeters, that's all you need. And then what I did on this one, that's the size O2O -O stainless steel wire with a mesh pad. Now the mesh pads, is, it's really soft, you know, they're not as yeah. hard as the stainless steel wire. So that one I actually just dropped it down. I also changed the, um, the electrodes that come with. You get three electrodes. Um, we only use the, for like the, the 0 0.6, we use like 95% of the cases. Um, the 0 0.5 is the thinner one. That's the one I used for that. Just okay. because, you know, the power is a little bit less and I, I don't want to, you know, overheat the wire or actually burn a hole in the mesh pad. So, you know, once you get to know the machine, um, you know, you'll figure out what you like and how to work it, you know, the best way. Right. If you, you know, the simple cases, it's like a cert to an Adams class. Um, the only thing you got to, you know, you, when you bend your wire, make sure you bend it nice and flush. You know, there shouldn't be any yeah. spaces or gaps. That you can't fill in with solder. <laughs> yeah. It's all got to be touching, touching together. I mean, you can go back and add fuller wire to it, but, you know, that just adds extra time. And I think the whole idea is to save time. You know, you don't want to add extra time by going back and filling all the little gaps in. But anyways, you know, this is a real easy way to start. Um, I think you can get this under your belt in one day, you know, mm. it's really not a big deal. Um, the other one we really like to do is we'll do the welded C clasps for the labor bone. You know, that's, that's nice uh, extra tension. Um, now, you were saying you process this different. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, it's just how we do it. Everybody do it differently, but what we like to do is, you know, we'll make the label bow, we'll do the acrylic polish high shine. Then, in quality control, you know, we'll just adjust all the wires, make sure everything is nice and straight. Goes back on the model, and then we go and we bend that little C-class. Now, you have to just re remember, you don't want just a little pin point contact of the wire. You know, you want to get it like that, so you mm -hmm. can get a nice weld. So you can see the weld is basically from there. Let's see if I can get in there. Yeah. I bet I can get in there. Oh yeah, let's get yeah, a picture. See from there, there to there. Yeah. So um, you know we'll do that, and then uh, we'll just go and we'll uh, tack it on the inside as well. Um, oh, because you can flip it. Yeah, you can. Around. You can flip it yeah. over. And, you know, just get it in there. So the light's probably kind of sharp. So we'll, we'll do it like that. I probably should have cleaned this model a little. <laughs> well, you're showing the weld, not the yeah, right? separating the. <laughs> um, this um, this one we did was a, a lingual arch you know, with the adjustment loops. You now there's no solder on that one. Now the adv advantage of this is if you can use the use the park welder, the D3. You know, we welded towards. 
maybe right in the middle towards maybe the I mean, a little bit more towards the, the top there. So when the doctor inserts it, there's no thick sort uh, sorter down there. Right. So I think it's gonna impinge on the gun. Exactly. So you're gonna get a nice fit. And it's actually if the doctor needs to, you know, you can still adjust the band because nothing is locked in with that lump of sorter. So that's one of the benefits as well. Now, uh, when you're doing a band with thinner material, do you pulse onto the wire and splash it onto the band, kind of? Or Welding the wire to the band is definitely more tricky than doing a certain pattern. But, you know, it doesn't make it difficult. You just have to practice. Right. So, so what we like to do is we would just... heat on the band if you do that you're going to blow a hole in the band yeah that was, that was my next question yeah, yeah you can, you can blow. oh you you can yes you can blow that hole in there so just angle it to a 45 degree and maybe focus a little bit more on the wire than on the band if i say a little bit i mean maybe half a millimeter it's not okay. like don't focus just on the wire then nothing is going to happen oh because you'll just melt the wire yeah, in, in and place you, and you so still, you got to have something going on to the band yeah and if you think about it you know you're fusing a 036 wire to a thin band together so you know yeah and i can actually like this one this one i started uh, this morning I didn't finish it up yet, but as you can see, you know, right there I started the weld. I still have to, uh, you know, it's still sharp. I still have to uh, make that nice and smooth. So just ignore that. <laughs> and focus on the weld. <laughs> um, let's see if I can take it off. Now with like solder, you have to um, make sure your solder joint's clean and everything. Do you have to worry about that with this? Um, you know, we always keep it clean. It doesn't matter. Okay. If we weld. It's a good. It's a practice. good idea. But that being said, you know, there's, there's been wax on there a little bit, and you can just see the wax melting through the weld. I mean, it all works fine, but it's you know. Well, because that's what I was thinking was I saw the wax on there. Yeah. You might as well just keep it clean and do it right, right. The, the first time. So your initial weld, um, how do you make sure that you're going to run it all the time? Electrodes? Oh, 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 the little... Was on it, was small in the way, I mean, you have to make sure you have a clear connection. Um, yeah, you always want a clear connection. In the beginning, like say when I did this one, it's, I would you just want contact with that. You don't. Yeah. So I would just press it with my finger, and I'll just weld the connection right there. Um, if you don't want to do that, you know you can just maybe hold it, get maybe one or two welds on there, take it off, clamp it, and then it's really easy to work with. And also, you really want. A lot of people is nervous, oh, I'm going to burn my fingers, you know, it just doesn't work that way. I support it with my fingers basically right where the weld is. Um, here on the settings on the machine, there's like the welding sequence. So you can see it's on the blue, it's like the first one, that's a little bit of a slower welding sequence, so it's going to be, you know, a little bit slower. If you click on it, you'll get a, a faster welding sequence. So mm. that one's going to tick, 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 tick. That's more for the advanced. If you like, if you're more advanced, or if you have a real steady hand. Um, I like, I just keep on the slow. I mean, I feel I don't overheat my wire. You know, I'm not going to anneal it. So, you know, that works really good. Um, another thing is, you'll see the, you know, when you weld it, it makes like a real bright light. So there's a filter on the inside that actually protects your eyes. At that, that exact moment, the arc comes out, there's a filter that's going to shut down. For, that's really? Yeah. All happening All happening in, all happening in, here. in There's a lot going on. You've got, you've got that sharp electrode that retracts. The argon gas blows out. 
Aim the, you know, the macro pulse. The, the pulse gun. It's a macro second boom. Yeah, the sculptor goes. It's like a camera shot. Yeah, like a yeah. welding mask. Yeah. Or a camera shot. Yeah. Oh, like a. Like a camera mask. Does it go completely black? It goes completely black. But it's, it's super fast. You can see it. Yeah. It's like, it's like a shutter flash, like you were saying. Yeah. So, you know, you're not going to damage your eyes. You don't have to worry about that. So, uh, this is it. <laughs> That's the whole thing. That's it. I mean, it's nice and small. I mean, you can move it around. You can have one or two technicians on the different discs actually working. You know, you can have one, you can have one. Yeah, separate units. You want to have a few units. You know, it doesn't take up a lot of bench space. You know, that's kind of the point I'm trying to make. Well, show me the position that you like to get in. Okay, so. And I got it concentrated on the tip. Yes. I know. I know we can't run it right now, but you can kind of get an idea. Of, yeah. So it's actually uh, better to look at the camera than it is. Because I got it. Yeah. I got it dimmed uh -huh. to take out the brightness. Now, is, does it dim in there? Right now, no. It's that bright. It's nice and bright. Okay. So you got the camera or the phone or the So how, how we do it? You know, you get your crocodile clamp on. And that grounds or grounds it. I'll yeah, say it grounds it. So you always just basic to explain it. You want to weld it in a straight line like that. Oh, is, okay. You know, for me it's really easy. You start at the top and you weld your way all the way to the bottom. And sometimes you know start at the bottom, work your way up. You know whatever works for you. Now do you control the pulls? Is it close or is that automatic? Or do you, you control it like. If you make contact with that little electrode, yeah, because you have to make contact. You have to make contact, and don't apply a lot of pressure. You just slight scratches. You know, there's also an option um, for, a foot pedal, for a foot pedal over here. So if you want to, you can add the foot pedal. Like this, I feel I have better control. You know, I don't have to worry about my food and everything. Actually, it slides under the desk. And yeah, doing like, this. like where is it? <laughs> yeah. Does the needle draw back? Yeah, the needle at that. The needle draws back. Then the gas comes. Oh, out. so you don't have to push the needle back? No, no. You, you touch it and it yeah. pulls up. It retracts. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, there's actually there's a lot of YouTube videos on the machine as well. Right, people, where they can actually. Yeah, and you film can, in there and you can yeah, see it happen. You know, and there's a Facebook page as well. Um, there's um, actually what I want to show you. Yeah, let me show you this. Like once in a while, you have to sharpen your electrodes. You get, you get these. Uh, what's it like? Twelve electrodes that comes with the appliance, uh, the machine. So if you want to take it out, um, they suggest the company suggests. To turn off the machine when you change any electrodes, you know, you just don't want to confuse no. the machine or whatever. So, just for that purpose, I'm going to turn it off. So, then you take it out. This is basically, it's almost like a pen. Yeah. The front piece comes out real easy. Just, just yeah, you just pull it out. It's a little, little O-ring that keeps it in place. It's your electrode. You just unscrew it. And there it comes out. You know. So you're gonna have to sharpen it. Really? Yeah, because the electrodes, you know, if you use it a lot, it actually gets a little dull. You want to make sure to keep it nice and sharp. You know, you get this little. Uh, oh, I can get it out. Cut. Oh, okay. It's just a cutting disc, you know, nothing yeah. special. But so it goes into your handpiece. You just let it spin, and then just sharpen it by just turning your electrode like that. Make it nice and sharp again, mm. and then you're good to go. So when you want to get it back in there, there's actually little adjustments, like little settings over there that's grooved into the machine. So you want to make sure that ele that ele yeah, like a depth guy. You want to make sure it's the right depth. So you just do it like that. Get it in there. You know, that's how it should be. It's a depth gauge? Yeah. There you go. 
So there you go. That's the right length. This just goes back on there. Just set to go. So it's real simple, you know. It's not... You don't have to be a brain surgeon to use this. <laughs> He's going to have the income of it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, you know, it just well, that's why I like yeah. this. It's, it's, it's just very reasonable. Yeah, and it's come down. You can double the price of any repair. Can you repair? Yes. So uh, it breaks yeah. here. Uh -huh. You can just put it back together. Well, or is there a we, we, we don't get really repairs from this. You know, if it goes out when it's welded. It never yeah. comes back for repair. You know, it's not like sort of that. No, I mean like a, or a regular like retainer. Yes. That doesn't oh. have any weld, yeah. and it's just crossing the acrylic, or it, it, it breaks at the adjustment loop. Yes. What, what, what you can do is maybe if I I'll draw it out. Yeah. Oh. Say you have a little break right there in your U loop. You know you can you know, just adjust your wire back. Just stack that little piece. And then weld a secondary wire right there. Just to strengthen oh, that. Like a real wire. Yeah, so just like a little piece of 0 to 8, just to make sure it goes over the, yeah, the breakage and the weld. And that's how we will do it. Um, we don't like to do that, um, but you can if you want to. No, no, it, I hate that. We have some on there. Android update successful. Nice. I tried to push it. Later. Okay. All right. I'm, they're calling me in, so. Uh, I, I, I think we're basically done. I mean, okay. Yeah. Well, your your name? Gerard. Gerard. Inman Orthodontics. Okay. And uh, this is with the Lambert. Yeah. Where can they go? Is, what's this? Is Lambert.com? Yeah, that's, uh, I, well, they can call, uh, I hope you can see that. It's Robert. He's the rep. He's in New York. Um, uh, I don't have a business card, but it's 312. Nine five three four three one nine. Oh, okay. And they'll uh, if you anybody's interested in buying one of these machines, you know, Robert will set you up. And you'll answer all the questions people have. No. Yes. <laughs> no, so I didn't give your contact information out. Yeah. So, okay. Well, I appreciate it. Well, okay, thank you for good, yeah. bringing this and letting us see it. And it's nice. No problem. So I'll end this here.